Hello and welcome back here to the channel I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here in the version 2.5 of the missile car. You guys know this 180 missile car. It's a car that a lot of people have driven and tried. So we're going to be hitting a early morning toge run at Hapagera to see if the new 2.5 can take on a toge. So make sure you follow me on all social media. I'll let you find the description box below. I said we head to it. So a lot of people know this 180SX, they know about it from a previous release. We're going to get the mouse over into the corner over here. Previous release, we're about, it had 577 horsepower. This car has been down-tuned to about 383, just like the Streetcar V2 pack. But this is now 2.5 physics, different tires, and a few other add-ons. So we're going to go rip here at Hapagera and see if this new setup can actually throw down got the wise fab kit going on in the front of this car in the new two fives so first initial rip it's uh definitely a little bit different the feeling because of the wise fab front end but i feel like it can uh, tackle hopagera a little uh, early morning toge run testing with this car so we can enjoy all the party lights and everything around this car the underglow and everything so it's definitely a fun car and a very nice car that everybody's liked in the you know originals now this will not erase the old one this is just going to be its own new car so you will have the original one at 570 horsepower and this new one when the two fives come out so for those that are wondering are you gonna lose the other one no you will not lose the other one this is its own car now we're on a bit of an uphill section Clutch kick. Oh, I thought I was gonna hit the wall there. So I think this car definitely has the power, even though it's only down to under 400 horsepower, just like my other street cars. But it can definitely get down on this road. We got it. And I'm having a blast with these new 2.5 physics and the way the cars feel and the way they react and how the wheel feels. Definitely a great car. I feel like we're gonna hit like a, a stop wall very shortly up here. So I can't remember where Hapagira ends. And it's right there. <laughs> uh, we're just gonna fall into the abyss. I knew Hapagira ended at some point and well, that was it. So we're gonna switch up to another track and uh, try some more toge. Another fun track to drive is this, and that's Harana Drift. So we're gonna go onto the lower downhill section. This one's a little bit faster than Hapagera. So, might be in a little bit different of gears. We're in fifth already. Okay, so it didn't like fifth, but it does like fourth. This may be asking a lot for 380 horsepower. But we definitely gonna try it. It's got it. I uh, I think we might actually be able to accommodate these turns in this car. Ooh, made the slow down section. Clutch kicking forth. Keep the power in there. There we got it. Big old fireball coming from the back. Exhaust on this 180. Oh, it's a little wall. Wall touch. That serious amount of steering lock that this car has now is almost incredibly 90 almost. And it's it's definitely uh, gets you out of issues. I noticed that the LEDs on the underglow need to go a little bit different because one side's a little bit wider and it's causing some reflection on the side skirt. Oh, we almost died. So that is something I will correct before release. Oh, we're going hard into the dirt, but we managed to save it. Kick it in the third. Shifting in fourth, there we go. Clutch kick in fourth. So I think this car definitely gets down on these courses, even in a bit longer of sweeping turns. So 
it's good to know that the cars still have power to have fun on bigger courses and bigger sections other than just small street courses. I think we're going to hit another wall here very shortly. Really dirty e-brake rack? No. In the third, probably should have stayed in fourth. Quick e-brake drag there to kind of I think there we're going to try and just kick this car with weight. I thought the turn was a lot uh, bigger than it was. No handbrake there. Just use the weight of the car. We got it. This would be a good course for a stay in your lane challenge. So I hope you guys are enjoying all the content and everything. Got some more driver spotlights lined up and coming up for you guys. So make sure you guys keep locked on the channel. Make sure you follow me on all social media. All of you found in the description box below. If you guys are not part of the Discord, make sure you guys join the Discord so you guys know when 2.5 comes out. Although there will be videos for when the 2.5s come out. But oh, as you can see, the 2.5s slightly different. They have a little bit more angle snap. They can get to angle a little bit quicker. They have more angle in it. All of them do have, like I said, wise fab in the front. And see, we can hold that. It's got angle to save itself all day on the new setup. So definitely having a blast with these cars. Definitely been getting a lot of good feedback. Oh, from everybody that was testing them. We're not going to save that. Actually, maybe we will. I don't know how we saved that, but we managed to save that. Um, I thought we were definitely going to lose it, but the angle that this car has was able to save that turn. So definitely we've been getting a lot of good feedback from the team and everybody who has pre-release of these two five to test them and definitely been working well with everybody on different wheel setups so that's something that is very similar to my original two series pack because I wanted them to work on all wheels oh I tried to do a dirty uh, dirty drag on the front bumper that did not work so like I said, make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all of which you found in the description box below. I hope you guys enjoyed this little episode on this 180. We're going to try and finish up this down section of Piranha Drift with the 180. I think we're getting into a lot bigger, sweepier turns, which may not be the best turns for this car. Yeah, we're definitely running out of acceleration there. This turn got a little bit of a tighter run. I should do a stay in your lane challenge on this one and try and pick a lane and drift in one lane. You may have to get a little bit more powerful of a car though. If I want to be able to point in one lane and stay in one lane through these big sweepers. I forgot how long this track is. I'm definitely having a blast with these new cars. Ooh. So you guys have seen the 350. The 180 is also making its way back. There's a bunch of other cars that are going to be coming out in this pack so far. Six in total. Some cars you haven't seen. Some cars you have seen. But all new style of driving. And they definitely handle much different than the old 180 used to. So that'll do it for this episode. Make sure you follow me on all social media. All of which are in the description box below. And as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.